Hi, this is Heidi Regal, Associate Vice President of Alumni and Admissions. In conjunction with First Generation Week, we asked members of our McDaniel community who were first generation college students themselves to give advice to our current first generation students here on the Hill. Many of our students, approximately 40%, are among the first in their families to attend college, like I was. So before we hear from the others, I want to start off with my advice which is for you to take advantage of all the opportunities that McDaniel throws at you. Try a new club, learn about new cultures, take on a project that seems impossible. Soak it all up because your experience will prepare you for a lifetime of learning. Remember, you're a green terror for life and you've got this. Hi everyone, happy first generation week. My name is Dr. Staub and I'm an associate professor of biology. I want to encourage everyone watching to stay curious and to be brave in asking the hard questions. I used to think that I didn't sound as smart as my classmates and I still feel that way sometimes with my colleagues. Have you seen how smart some of these McDaniel professors are? But what I've learned over the years is that sometimes my questions are the same ones that others are thinking or even better, because I have a different experience and perspective, my questions are the ones that sometimes people pay more attention to. So use your voice, take ownership of your learning, stay curious. We become brave by doing brave things. Take advantage of those office hours, even virtually, and ask those questions in classes and everywhere. Your questions make everyone think harder and learn better. Happy learning. Hi, my name is Dwight Carmen, and I'm a first-generation college graduate. My advice for any current first-generation college student is to have a plan. Have a plan for your money and have a plan for what you're going to do after you leave college. You can have all the fun you want, but make sure that you know what you want to do and know that it's going to make you enough money to have the lifestyle that you went to college to have. Hey folks, my name is Rich. I work for the CEO and I'm first gen. I came from a long line of working class people and I grew up in West Virginia. I had no idea what college meant. It was just something to do. You should be very proud that you're here. It's a big deal and I'm already proud of you. So here's my advice to all my other first generation students out there. Get involved. Talk to OSC, CEO, and ODEI to help you. College is incredible, so get everything you can out of it. It will leave a big impact on you and make your experience so much better. Hi, Keep I'm being Dr. Great. Stephanie Hillman in the chemistry department, and I'm a first generation college student. The advice I have for you is to advocate for yourself. Advocate for the classes that you take, the um, clubs and organizations you're involved in, the grades that you're getting. Only you know your interests, your passions, and your gifts. Also, utilize the resources we have on campus. Um, they're free for you to use, like the Writing Center, the STEM Center, tutoring, the professor's office. It doesn't show weakness to utilize these, but strength. Hi, everyone. My name is Jasmine Chavez. I graduated from McDaniel with my bachelor's in political science and Spanish in 2019. I was a first generation college student and my advice to you all would be to really get involved on campus, do things that you're passionate about, and really get to know faculty and staff because they will really support you. I mean, I still have faculty and staff who support me even after college. So really get to know your professors. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Michael Poland. Uh, I teach introductory chemistry courses here at McDaniel. Uh, I was a first generation student in the early 2010s. Uh, one bit of advice that I got from my undergraduate advisor is to say yes to more opportunities. <clears throat> students, and in particular first gen students, uh, are more likely to succeed uh, if they accept more opportunities. Uh, it opens doors for you uh, and it gives you a really good idea of what you want to do in the future. I hope that I'll get to meet many of you uh, in our time here on Happy First Generation Week. My name is Ashley Day and I am a graduate of McDaniel College, class of 2012. And from one first generation student to another, um, please know that you are not alone on your journey. While you may be the first in your family to attend, please know that there are resources and there are individuals um, on campus and around campus who are there to support you on your journey through college and in the years following. Congratulations again. Hey there, I'm Michelle Young, class of 2001 from Western Maryland, now McDaniel College, and I'm a member of the social work department here um, on the Hill now. Um, if I can just offer um, a couple of words of encouragement to our first generation students, um, 
you belong here, um, you are capable of doing this work, um, ask for help when you need it, use the resources that you have, and most importantly, take the time to facilitate relationships while you're here. Um, you know, go visit your faculty during their office hours, talk with them about their interests, take the time to form relationships. Not only will they help you be successful while you're a student here on the Hill, but they will come back to benefit you in so many ways in the future. And so you've chosen a small nurturing environment for a good reason that utilize the resources around you. Good afternoon, McDaniel. My name is Destiny Guerrero and I am the Senior Associate Director over at the Financial Aid Office. I am a graduate of William Patterson University of New Jersey. I too am a first generation student in my family, first graduate of my family. And if I can offer you one piece of advice that helped me tremendously, it would be lean on your advisors. Do not hesitate to lean on us as your financial advisors. It actually led me to my career path before I even knew it. Have a good day. Hello, my name is Brittany, class of 2019 and first generation college student. Welcome to the Hill. Um, and congratulations on starting your journey here. This place is made for students like us. I just have a little bit of advice to offer. Um, one, take advantage of any opportunity that's given to you. These opportunities can open doors to things you would have never thought possible. Also connect with your professors. That's what's gonna make this so much more special for you. And finally, be present. This is a special time for students like us and just soak it all in. If I could go back and do these four years over, I would. I completely miss it, and I am so happy that you're just starting out. Good luck. This is Cheryl Nauer, Director of Public Relations in the Office of Communications and Marketing here at McDaniel College. As the oldest of five and the first in my family to attend college, I just want to say that you can do it. It can be overwhelming and intimidating, but as a first-generation student, you already know what it's like to work hard and persevere, and that's why you're here. I encourage you to find a support network, someone who believes in you. This could be someone in your family. For me, it was a professor. I know having that support through my journey in college made all the difference in the world. Hi, I'm Christian Morales. I'm the assistant men's soccer coach here at McDaniel College. I'm a first generation student who played all four years of division one soccer at UMBC. I graduated with a BA in psychology and I'm currently pursuing my master's in kinesiology here at McDaniel College. My advice to all first year generation students here at McDaniel is to enjoy this opportunity and do not take it for granted. Most parents like mine sacrifice everything, their dreams, their aspirations to give us a better life, to provide us with opportunities that they may not have gotten during their lifetime. So use this opportunity to grow as a human being, to build relationships, to create experiences that you will remember for the rest of your life. Be proud of who you are, embrace this opportunity to learn and to grow and do not take it for granted because it does fly by. So appreciate this opportunity and create your own legacy. I hope this message helps and I hope you all have a phenomenal college experience here at McDaniel. Thank you. Hello, my name is Linda Kirkpatrick. I'm the flute teacher and director of the concert band and orchestra here on the Hill. Like you, I was the first in my family to attend college. One of the most important decisions you make in your lifetime is where to further your education after graduating from high school. You couldn't have made a better choice than Nick Daniel. We have every support system imaginable in place with people to help you navigate through your time here on the Hill. Congratulations on choosing us. Hello, my name is Jose Luis Moreno. I'm the Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion here at McDaniel College. My pronouns are he, him, his. My advice to all first-generation college students is, when possible, ask questions and ask for help. Just because you're the first does not mean that you're alone. We care for you, and we're here for you. Best of luck. Hi, I'm Stephen Pearson, and I'm a professor and chair of the art department, and I was a first-generation student. The best advice I could give is to be involved in as many activities as you possibly can. Get involved with plays, attend plays, go to sports events, go to gallery openings, Get to know your peers and get to know your professors and ask questions. Do not be afraid to ask questions. You belong here. You need to make the most of this time and make those memories that are going to last you a lifetime. So enjoy your time at McDaniel College. Hi, my name is Lauren Fenlon and I'm currently working in the admissions office as a visit assistant. 
I also graduated from McDaniel as a first generation college student back in the early 2000s. One thing that really helped me while I was here was knowing that I had resources available to me to help me through my time here, especially the wellness center and the small classes and the helpfulness of all of my professors.